This is the most amazing place. We had to pray before we went in to ask permission, which is traditional really, with this type of site. You have to pray and ask permission. I mean, after all, this site has been covered for um, 2,300 years before um, when the actual volcano went up. Now the mosaics were the most amazing sights. These had to be seen in the um, Thea Museum. Um, really, it looks like a, a site which has been stripped. I feel really that digging into the ground and taking away artifacts in this way um, takes away from the site. It um, disrespects the people and the culture that we were actually looking at. But for me, the site, I felt I brought a healing to it. Um, it was so amazing to see things from Crete in here. It was such a Minoan site. And they were so linked with the goddess, the moon. So many things like this were so important, as we can see in this site. So many sophisticated objects. Architecture itself was so sophisticated for its time. If you consider back here in the UK around this time we were just building um, very very mud huts to live in. Here we have such a sophisticated incredible seafaring nation communicating with Egypt in communication with Crete. This pe beautiful painting of the ladies. This was just a, a fantastic painting that was in this room. Again, you have to go to Theo Museum to see the actual artefact itself. But what sophistication of painting. We know that art artists from this area went to take part in Egyptian tomb building. And we can see the likeness of the paintings. For me, again, this was a, like a graveyard. The spiritual aspect was very dark. The people have to leave, had to leave very quickly. And of course they must, it's like any people who have caught in a disaster of a volcano going up, having to leave quickly. They were lucky to leave with their lives intact. Because in Pompeii, many people died and were actually left, in, uh, left to die. But here, everyone got away. This sight shows me so much in terms of its sophistication to have a toilet to have this type of sophistication in buildings the people must be so incredibly spiritual but I feel that this site takes away the spirituality of the people the goddess worship the ritual um, the uniqueness of the the land being connected to the people and the buildings connected in that way I recommend you do some reading before you enter this site because otherwise you will miss so much. Okay, there's toilets and bits and bobs that people can point out, but really in real honesty, um, the significance of the spirituality of the people has been left out. Now in this site, this is the, the site of the benches. Um, I put things in so you can read here, you can stop the video and read at any time. This incredible figurine was found um, at about this, um, which is, is made of gold. I felt an incredible richness of this particular house that I was looking at, um, the ibis. Now this gold figurine was so beautiful, again you have to go to the museum to see it, but made of pure gold. They left that. And I think they did leave it intentionally because, in fact, most of the gold went from the site when they left it. But I felt this was like um, a returning feature.